on, hold, stop, stop, stop. Time for a new project in the shop. Pick me up a whole bag of Mexican candy from the Chico's 30 year celebration. Okay. We came to Chico's for lunch today, but it's a special day, huh? Jim? That's right. So, Jimmy and I have been eating at Chico's probably, what do you think, 12, 13 mm -hmm. years? Seven, I mean, 17? We, we, well, you and I <laughs> yeah. together. Yeah. Collectively. Um, I think I first came here in 1998. Oh my. I probably didn't come here till 2002 or three. So, but yeah, they, we've been coming here together a lot. This is like our favorite lunch spot. But anyway, they're celebrating 30 years. So they're having a party. Woohoo! And they got Mexican candy. And yeah, we got tacos coming. Yes, we do. Pretty awesome. Good stuff. Anyway, nice score on the candy. Except I don't under I kind of I don't read Spanish, so I don't know what it is. So I have to taste that chocolate and coconut. Anyway, we're uh, <clears throat> gonna do something cool with this little thing right here today. This Model T is going in the shop, and uh, we're gonna try to put railroad track wheels on it. So basically, I've got some old rings that I'm gonna cut and try to bolt on where the tires go and make it run on rails. If I can do that, I've got an old abandoned track in mind to go run it on. So let's see if we can turn it into a rail speeder. So one thing I've always disliked about this car, I don't hate it, I don't hate nothing about this car, I think it's cool as hell, but I dislike this windshield. It's a little bit too tall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the windshield frame off, I've already unbolted it, we're going to cut that strip off right there and put this thing right down flush with the hood line. I think that'll be a lot neater. I don't have to cut the windshield down. It lowers it down where I want it and I'm not looking through the the seam lines here. And uh, we'll get it rebolted on. I think the windshield will vibrate less because it'll be down tighter. Put the braces back in. And uh, that's the first thing I want to address on this little car before we put the rail wheels on. Well. It's another beautiful day in Havasu. Time to get this Model T turned into a railroad speeder. Buddy Brad dropped off a couple pieces of track, so we'll set them to gauge and use them for mocking up our wheels. We're going to get these unbolted. So we're using the wood spoke part of the wheel. We're unbolting this ring here. The tire rim detaches. And I've got a bunch of these old rims and I've been cutting on them and working on them trying to make them fit in on a Model T and run on the rails. So let's get started. got initial mock-up which uh, you can see on this side we're right on the right on the rail looks really good what I did was I pulled the studs out and I put a half inch nut in here it gave me a half inch of spacing but I think I'm gonna have to go with maybe a little bit larger nut I don't know or get some flat washers I'm gonna have to space it a little bit because on this side I'm a little bit shy of being within gauge. I think I'm about 
about an inch to three quarters of an inch off. So if I had, I don't know, another, I guess probably another half inch on each side, I would be pretty close to being within, uh, within gauge. Now, that's the front. On the rear, I've got a whole nother issue. I measured the rear. Um, the rear is a little bit narrower on a Model T, which I never realized. So I'm going to have to build the rims offset more. However, the good thing, I'll show you what I got going here. I've got my wheel for mock up. I'm cutting my own tabs. These rings are from a Chevrolet. My buddy Tim Miller gave me these. Now, they're not as strong because they don't have that reinforced lip inside, so I'm probably going to have to put some support to make them stronger. However, I can actually attach this tab anywhere I want on the rim. So once I establish uh, my offset, then I'm going to uh, put the tabs in where they need to be. So what we'll do is we'll move the rails to the rear, we'll set it down, we'll adjust the rings, we'll kind of get an idea of where they need to go, and then we'll build one ring for sure, then we'll put it back on and we'll make sure the other ring is almost perfect. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing bolted on and maybe be testing on a track near you soon. Well, McKay showed up. Howdy. To put in his three cents and two washers. Um, a nut and two washers. A nut and two washers. <laughs> so I think we're done with the front. Honestly, I think it's ready to kind of test. It, uh, it ain't perfect, but it ain't far from perfect. Um, but the rear is going to be a problem because the rear is much narrower. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do a half inch space right off the bat. And then we're going to cut the tabs and probably tack them or bolt them in and tighten them. And then we'll adjust the ring kind of how we need. But we're going to lift it up and move the rails to the rear and uh, see if we can get some rear established. And then I'm charging the battery on it because it's had a dead battery forever. I've just been hand cranking it. We need to test the shifter on the Ruxtel. So we finished hooking that up. I put oil in everything and greased it. Kind of need to change the oil on the engine, but uh, I got to get that Ruxtel to where I can shift it from inside the car. We just been shifting it underneath, so we'll get on that. Okay, okay, just straightened this ring out by putting it under the hoist. It was egg-shaped. We've got our tabs on here, and we're going to slide this up on. We've got our track set, and uh, it looks pretty good. Same on 
both sides ish so we're trying to make these wheels match fairly close so that I don't have like left and right I just have fronts and rears but uh, we'll get this put in here and see what we can do Well, just like that, McKay said, what did you say? So it looks like you got a Model T that you can run on the railroad tracks. Did you get that shirt? Who'd you knock off for that? I had to actually buy this one. I actually bought it. You see that, Cousin Paul? Got my own people supporting you. Anyway, um, we've tacked the uh, edges. I think we're going to start it up now and see how true they run. We can correct some of that out of trueness with washers. Not that we want to, but I think we're pretty good. I had McKay turn it and we checked it, but we're gonna lift it off. We're gonna double check our tracks, make sure they didn't move. And then we'll fire it up and let it run it in gear. And then we'll pull those off and we're gonna finish welding them. And then because I have no support in here, I'm gonna put some little pieces of eighth inch plate and I'll tack them in. That'll help, help keep the wheel from collapsing. I, I don't think it'll be too bad for you know as long as i'm going to run this on tracks but uh i don't know if it runs good on tracks maybe we'll go do a bunch of tracks It'll be fun this thing and find a set of rails we can test it on and see if it'll behave. Alrighty, we're working on the steering on this Model T. I gotta show you this, this little joint right here. It's really loose. Like when I had it together it was like clunk 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 clunk. There's just a little cap on here. It's not really adjustable but it just encapsulates the ball in here. So what I've come up with is basically this little plant here. If you can see this in the camera. So I've got this little piece of shim stock and I realized that the ball peen hammer is almost identical to the shape. So what I was going to do is just put that right there and then use the four pound to drive that hammer in and see if it would just make me a cup. What I'll do is I'll trim the excess material off of that, and there's my shim, 10 thousandths. See if that'll tighten it up. 
Well, just like that, we got them cups in there. No more play. And we have a brass, basically, bushing in there that'll wear out, so we can replace that. It's replaceable. I had to do two on that side and one on this side. But I did the same thing here. And uh, we'll get cotter pins back in that. It's nice and tight. Should be good to go. I think everything else is done. We got the oil changed. Um, we're just about ready to go test this on the tracks. Look at those wheels. I don't know if they're going to work or not. Let me know what you think in the old comments there down below. You think these wheels will work? You think this Model T thing's a good idea? I've heard that you just put a Model T on the tracks, you just let the air out of the tires and you, they'll hold the track. But I figured I didn't really want to mess up my tubes, so I know they'll walk on the rim and mess the tube up. But we're going to go for a, a little trail ride, a train ride. We're going to go for a little train ride once we get this thing figured out and maybe do a couple miles on some old abandoned tracks. So also let me know where you think we should take the thing. I mean, if you know of an old abandoned track somewhere around Arizona, California, maybe near you, I don't know. Let me know. We might travel a little and go try this thing out. Alright, I'm going to try to put this thing off the track. Well, I think we're on. We're going speeder. So we're over here at a undisclosed location. Staying in the group. I think it's just the wheel just makes a lot of racket and clickety clackety, but hey, <laughs> we made it a quarter of a mile. Yeah, I think we're just a little tight on the fronts, maybe pretty easy to pull shims out so yeah we'll run on down these tracks and show you what uh what we got going here a little sketchy it's up on the track whoa, 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 whoa. we got the track how are you over there uh, front oh uh, we're on the back hold on hold on. stop 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 the rail yeah we're our back wheel is off is it off the track it's on the track but it's off the lip It's a, the lip is riding the on top of the track. The front's okay on the passenger side. We're about to drop in on the back right now. Yeah, that's messed up right there. Whoa, you're off on the front. Well, I didn't go as planned. This is, so we're probably gonna have to how it curves out see how that's up over there yeah, where the track broke where the yeah came where out. they pulled well they pulled the, the the things in the bottom so it gets narrow but then it gets really wide but it's not that it's wide here we just we got out of the groove yeah you got to watch them wheels on both sides otherwise it'll derail so we've had a model t derailment <laughs> is this a fail <laughs> no it's not a fail we made it a half a mile we did we did good we, we're just going to want to bring a floor jack, I think, with us so we can put it back on track when we lose it. But honestly, we were just about ready to get some speed up when we hit the bad track. But I'll show you what we got going here. Basically, this track, they, ca they caught some of these uh, railroad ties right here. And it's actually pulled this out. There's actually a, a bad section here. And uh, this is what started our derailment is this right here this this isn't even lined up so i should have slowed down really really slow through here but i didn't i kept hammering on it so now we're paying the price so i'll go get a jack and we'll get her jacked up and see if we can get it back on the tracks Rocks. We're back on the rails. 
so we're gonna try to figure out why it came off i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it just it deflected back there got up on top and before we got back in like our rails come together so now we've got good rail down here we're gonna test it again and see what happens so here we go on this side huh not so much on this side it's not yeah this feels uh, it's pretty stable over here still on over there yeah in the grooves Still in? It's still in. Your back one's still good? It, yeah, it's it's on top, but it's got plenty to roll on. Keep pushing it my way. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Keep an eye on your front. Front's okay. The rear dropping in again yet? No, nope, not yet. Still good on this front. The rear keeps getting closer to dropping. Yeah, I probably ain't gonna drop till we get. Yeah, right. I'm just saying it's going in that direction. Well, no, I just want to wait for it. So. Here's where I get I can I can come my way quite a bit. We just fell in. Okay, kind of. Need help rolling it. Keep an eye on that front. Well, we're back to where we derailed. That's how far off the track is. And uh, I think it's a little worse down there, just a little ways further. But right here, the tracks clear out of the groove, and we hit this thing cruising. And then we derailed up there where them rocks are. So we have really good track back behind us, and we're going to test some high-speed stuff on it because we are close to the truck. <laughs> and make sure it stays in the groove. Make sure it does everything it's supposed to. I'm thinking about jacking it up, pulling some shims out of this, making this ring a little a little closer in because the front's a little wide. But uh, yeah, we'll show you what we're doing. Well, I took one shim out. Well, I took two shims out. So I have these little washers shim in the wheel. And uh, I, think we're, I think we're a little closer down here to see what we got. Yeah, we're still tight on the, still, still a little bit tight on the rim. So what I may do is pull two more out of that side just to get it good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a block of wood in here and secure this tie rod so the front end doesn't shimmy because the wheel, wobbles a little and it makes a shimmy once we get the shimmy out of it i think we'll be good i think this thing will be fast down the track so yeah so now we've cleaned the brush off the track we narrowed the front wheels truck it now yeah Well, nervous after that derailment. That derailment was kind of scary, but hey, it's making the clickety-clackety. We know how to fix it. We know how to jack it back on. Honestly, it's, uh feels like a train right now. It's just kind of rocking. Like, ding dong, ding dong. Oh, yeah. oh, start yeah. the scale. This is the dangerous spot. Oh yeah, this is our this is our no-go zone. It's a no-go. That is the end of the track for That's us. That's all we have for test drive. <laughs> That's terrible. So, yeah. I think if I do that wood block on the steering, we're golden. Yeah, it just needs to be more solid. Yep. It actually feels a hundred times better than with that little adjustment. Yeah, just and I think I'll take a little more shim out of that wheel over there. Um, 
pick up a little more than an eighth inch. I think I'll take another eighth. That will give us some narrow. Make up for some narrow. We're not jumping tree branches anymore either. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> trimming, the, trimming the trees out made a big difference. Okay, you ready for a high run? Let's go high. This is high. Yeah, let's go. I mean, this is low, but we're spinning wheels. What's our GPS thing? I don't know. I'm trying to. I'll be 20. I'm, I'm trying to film and. I'll be 25. Oh, I see the end of the track. Though. Eight. eight. It says eight right there. <laughs> we better ten. try it again. Ten, ten, <laughs> ten miles an hour. Oh, that's terrible. This is kind of fun, actually. We gotta go find us some railroads, Rob. I don't know where we're going to go find railroad, but we are going to find railroad. There's got to be miles of abandoned tracks someplace. Next time you see this little Model T speeder, we're going to have the bugs worked out. We are going to be on a mission to go find something cool to share with you.